trade customer challenges is something you must understand as a banker or an importer, whoever it is you are and handle trade transaction, particularly when you are financing. There are causes, different causes of trade customer challenge. This could include inexperienced importer or exporter, incompetent account officer, inadequate monitoring, imprecise systems, incompetent forwarder, inefficient shipping line, incomplete documentation, insufficient tenor on facility, insufficient tenor on facility, incomprehensible financing terms, incorrect data on document, incapable clearing agent, and ineffective risk mitigant. These are issues that a typical importer or exporter face. Let's break it down. You see all those challenges? Who are the culprit? Who are the culprit of these challenges? The trader themselves, importer and exporter, the banker, and the shipping line. Which of these issues is caused by the trader? Number one, the trader is inexperienced. They don't monitor the transaction. Probably do not know how to monitor. Probably do not know how to monitor. Imprecise system. Another issue with the marketer and with the importer. Incomplete documentation. Ineffective risk mitigant and incorrect data on document. How about the bank? The incomplete account officer, incompetent account officers, insufficient tenor on facility, and incomprehensible financing terms and declaring agents. Incompetent forwarder, inefficient shipping line, incapable clearing agent. Let's take them one by one. Number one, inexperienced importer and exporter. A number of importers are inexperienced in regulation and documentation issues involved in the process of importation. This makes them to be unable to monitor and manage the process and thus become unduly exposed to all the errors that other intermediaries in the trade business make. Intermediary like their agent, the forwarder, claim agent, the shipping line. How do you solve that? Training on import export process and regulation. How about the account officer? Many bankers have unacceptable and abysmal low level of knowledge because many bankers actually have very low knowledge of trade. And that is affecting the customers of the bank. This has made the bankers to call delays, discrepancies, and consequently huge demerit costs for the importer. Many of the importers cannot seek redress because they cannot even identify what the bankers have done wrong because they themselves do not understand the process. Training on import export process is an antidote to that. Inadequate monitoring. Most importing companies have to import in order to get machineries for construction, raw material for manufacturing. So a lot of importers don't import because they are importers and traders. Import is part of the operation of the business. If they have their way, they will avoid it. But they don't have a choice. If my raw material has to be sourced from US, I need to import. If my raw material has to be sourced from South Africa, I need to import. Even though I'm a manufacturer, but what I need to manufacture, my product, I need to source it from outside the country. So I need to import. As a result of that, I'm unable to monitor. Because import is not my core job or function. But I have to do it in course of my operation. Either as a manufacturer, an engineering company, construction company. Because it's not my core function, I do not have enough time or dedicated staff to monitor why the good is in transit or the shipping document. What happened? It creates problem for me. Get a trained, dedicated staff to do the monitoring. In precise system, this is legalese. A sales contract is a document that needs to be signed by both parties before a legally binding trade can take place between them. Majority of importers do not sign a sales contract. And those that sign contracts do not make it comprehensive enough to cover all the critical areas of trade transaction. A training of sales contract and import planning is important for this. Incompetent forwarder. Who is the forwarder? A forwarder is someone that ships goods to an international destination. A forwarder is someone that ships goods to an international destination. So if I'm exporting from Nigeria, for example, I will get a forwarder who will claim my goods for export with custom and ship it to my destination abroad. When I import the goods, a clearing agent is someone who clear the good inwardly. Some people country call it custom brokers. The forwarder are the agent hired by exporters abroad to arrange the good for shipment to international destination. A number of times, 
they are dealing with inexperienced exporters who totally depend on these forwarders for everything. That's due to the shipment. And the selection of wrong vessel, wrong port, container, and document. Because any error on the part of this forwarder becomes the error of the exporters. Important need, an importer or even the exporter need to strictly monitor the export process. Inefficient shipping line. Some shipping lines are grossly inefficient in their operation at the seaport. Even though the documentation might be ready and duty paid on time, the delay caused by the port and shipping line operation could turn a transaction to a loss. So as an importer or exporter, I should have identified this shipping line and avoid them. In fact, in my contract, I can indicate the most preferred shipping line. I can indicate the most preferred shipping line on my contract. Incomplete documentation. International trade is likely a business of documentation and logistics. There are different documents involved in different stages, from commencement to consummation. Therefore, any document omitted in the process could pose a great danger on the smooth run of the trade transaction. The antidote to incomplete documentation is training on import export process and documentation. Insufficient tenure of facility. More often than not, some bankers rely on transaction cycle provided by the importer to set the tenure of the trade funding. Some of those that request for documentary evidence either ask or fail to ask for the right document or use wrong information for their calculation of the transaction cycle. As a banker, if you are financing a trade transaction, it is extremely important, extremely important to understand the role of documentation, previous documentation for the previous transaction of this customer to determine the cycle of shipment. Because each of the documents from beginning to the end updates on them. Training on import, export, trade, finance, and documentation can fix this. Incomprehensible financing terms. The financing terms and condition on a typical offer letter are often not easily understood by typical importer and exporter. This accounts for the common saying that bank offer letters are full of hidden charges and terms that only become obvious to most importer and exporter after they have defaulted on the repayment of the finance facility. After they have defaulted on the repayment of the finance facility. How do you prevent this from happening? Get competent lawyer and accountant to review the financing terms. Incorrect data on document. Because national trade involves a lot of interdependent documents with same data being repeated on different documents, any error on one makes the whole presentation to become invalid, particularly in a letter of credit transaction. A training on letter of credit and documentation can fix that. Incapable clearing agents. After going through all the import processes successfully till arrival of consignment at the port of destination, an incapable clearing agent can mess up the whole transaction and make it altogether unprofitable. And make it altogether unprofitable. Why? Because they fail to do what they need to do. With so much fake agents in this sector, a non-designing importer can easily be caught in the web. There must be a screening process to be sure and even references to customer he has dealt with before to be sure this agent can do the job and can do it well without creating excess costs for you.